All right, this is first look at our new Juki. This is the DX4000 QVP, the Kokochi. This is their top of the line. It is 12 inches in the length of its bed here. It is a fantastic machine built by Juki. I'm gonna give you a real quick rundown on some of the features on this new fantastic machine. All right, first I'm gonna show you the fully automatic needle threader. That's it, just threaded the needle for you. All right, next we have the integrated walking foot. So dual feed is integrated to the machine. No need to ever attach a walking foot. This is the walking foot. That is the walking foot turned on. And that is the walking foot turned off. So if anybody has experience with a machine with upper feed, they know the huge advantages to having the walking foot integrated in the machine. All right, let's talk about the presser foot. The presser foot works automatic. Push of the button, drops the foot. When you start sewing, it'll automatically lock the beginning of your stitch. When you stop needle down, the presser foot will pivot up automatically for you so that you can do those quick turns. You can do your chain piecing. You can go around appliques very quick and easy. No need for a knee lever, but of course the machine also gives you the ability to put a knee lever in, which will then raise the presser foot with the push of your knee. When I get to the end of my seam, it will backstitch automatically, it will cut, and it will raise the foot automatically for me. All right, let me talk about something that is very unique to Juki. They're the only ones in the industry who do this, um, and it is a really great feature. When you attach your straight stitch plate to the machine, first of all, the machine will read that you have your straight stitch plate on and will not let you zigzag, but that's not that unusual now in the industry. But what is unusual is that your feed teeth match your stitch plate. And why is this important? When you're doing narrow sewing, you can bring your feed dogs basically closer to match the size of the presser foot. So you can see that your presser foot and your feed dogs are the exact same size, which when you're do working with narrow feet, this is gonna give you the most precision on the feed of the machine. So let me show you how we attach the presser foot, uh, the stitch plate, and the feed dogs. Okay, so we are going to remove the stitch plate just like that. Stitch plate comes off. This is the beautiful part. The feed dogs just lift straight out. The new feed dogs will get into place. And again, I'm trying to do this one handed, which is never easy, but they just click right in like that. Now, we got the next plate. Now the machine is set for straight stitch only and you've got the narrow feed dogs attached. The feed dogs on this machine will also drop automatically for you. You have a button here. So instead of having a switch to deal with to raise and lower your feed dogs, you hit a button. Now your feed dogs are turned off. This is great for a number of reasons. It, it makes free motion quilting very easy. But also if you're putting bulky fabric underneath the presser foot, lower your feed dogs, we'll drop them down so it doesn't snag. And then when you hit the button again, now they're re-engaged and you can start. All right, let's talk a little bit about the touch screen. I really like their, um, their screen, their interface is really, really good on the machine. Makes it really simple to understand what's going on. You have these big icons here for locking your stitch. So the beginning lock I can turn on, I can turn on an in lock. There's different lock styles that I can select. I've got automatic presser foot lift there, automatic cut after the stitch is finished. So I appreciate this. Uh, simplified screens make it much easier for people to navigate through their machines. I find that some machines screens are a little bit too complicated or they clutter too much on the screen and it leaves people wondering where their settings are. To get to all the stitches in the machine, that's our stitch number there. Uh, the stitch menus pop up. Every menu has a category. So this is applique, tapering stitches. We've got our quilting stitches. We've got our scalloped edges. 
decorative. So lots of different stitches to the machine. Um, the stitches work, the screen works like kind of like a tablet. So you, you swipe to move, you pull up and down to move, and then when you see the stitch you want to do, you select it, you get the stitch on the screen. As you sew the stitch, you'll actually see the stitch progress so that you know exactly where you are within the stitch. And then of course you have all of your adjustments that you can do and when you do adjust the stitch, you will see the stitch adjust on the screen, which is nice. All the adjustments will turn a different color when you make them so you know where you where default is and if you've changed the stitch the nice thing with the machine too is whatever you were working on the machine will take you back there when you start the machine up so if i was doing this stitch and had to go to bed when i turn the machine back on it'll go right to that stitch let's go quickly back to a straight stitch when i am on a straight stitch regular straight stitch and i want to adjust my needle positions i can click this tab I've got a wheel here so that I can adjust my needle positions or I can just do it on the screen and you can see your needle switching to different positions there. So the stitch controls are very, very simple. I also like if I toggle over to the history tab. History tab is great because these are all of the stitches that I've recently stitched on the machine. So if you're working on a project and you're working with a handful of, of stitches, it, the history tab is where you can go to to quickly get back to all the stitches that you've been recently working on. Now this is really cutting edge and different, a uh, Juki sewing net. So this is uh, the machine's Wi-Fi enabled, which I have not said yet. Um, so it goes on your home network. Now this machine will link to different web pages for instructions on the machine. This is actually Juki's YouTube page is what it's linking to right now. So when I see, when I need some really nice detailed instructions on the machine, I can then um, tap on one of the categories and then the video will start to play and it will tell me about how to do that technique on this particular machine. The nice thing with this machine too is being that it went to YouTube, this is regular YouTube. This isn't a special version of YouTube just for this sewing machine. Even though it takes you directly to the landing page for this machine where it's gonna have all of the sewing and operational techniques for the machine. But if I hit the search tab in YouTube and um, I can search for any tab or any topic that I want. So every video that is built into YouTube you can find in the machine and complete with YouTube ads. <laughs> We're all used to those. And then we can do the same thing, skip ad. And then here we go. We can learn some other nice quilting techniques. If I go back to the home button, then it takes me back here. I've got the manual built into the machine. I've got uh, the YouTube. I can link directly to Juki's website. If you need to research a foot, you can just touch this. This will take you right to Juki's website. You'll notice at every one too that pops up, it has a QR code. So if you would rather visit the website on your phone, you open up your phone camera, point it at the QR code, and then it'll take you right to the website. If you haven't used QR codes, that's that's how you do it. It's really simple. Just point your phone at the code and their phone knows exactly what to do. So um, so that is really, really fun. Uh, support tab is all of the operational uh, information you need. Your instruction manual is also right there inside the machine. These are all of your customizable settings for the machine. Like right now, because I'm trying to film the screen and there was a lot of glare, I turned the lighting off on the machine. So if I wanted to turn the lighting back on, there we go. We got the lighting back on, on the machine. So all of your settings are there. And then of course we get back to the sewing tab. So this is such an exciting machine. I'm gonna take off my little veil to 
that I used to cut the glare down, but really an exciting machine made by Juki. The quality of the stitch is really, really beautiful. It's the type of machine that we expect out of Juki, just a high quality sewing machine. It's quiet and it's smooth. It gives you tons of room here, so 12 inches. And the absolute fantastic blow me out of the water is the price on the machine. Um, they price this machine to really sell units. They wanna be the biggest sewing machine. Well, they are the lar largest sewing machine company in the world, if you don't know who Juki is. Uh, they are an industrial sewing machine company, so they make industrial machines all over the world. But they wanna be the biggest name in the home sewing machine industry. And making products like this is really gonna get them where they need to be. This is a really, really nice competitive machine. So if you haven't had a chance to play with this machine or sit down and sew on it, I would suggest coming into the store and having a go.